and giving such a wonderful team with panel of uh, pulmonologists. Uh, I thank the speak team. It will be never uh, enough how much I thank the team because I followed completely speed app and the textbook. So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute and team of Speed to Dr. Raji Vishwanathan for scoring rank number 19 in uh, superficiality of DM pulmonology in NEET SS session 2024. Congratulations to you, doctor. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Great to have you in session. And I uh, thank you for your time taken to share your experiences with us. It means a lot to us. Sure, sir. Please thank you. go forward, sir. Yeah. So, can we uh, know a brief background history from where you started till date? What all you have? Sir, uh, I am basically a consultant working in Calicut, Kerala. I am an AP working in a medical college and side by side a private practice for last four to five years. Very good. I am not a fresh pass out. MBBS, MD? Uh, MBBS but... in Kerala only, Trishur. Uh, post graduation in Narana Hardiyala, Bangalore. After that, I was working like what other people used to do who pass out as a postgraduate in pulmonology. Then I did my fellowship in interventional pulmonology from uh, Yashoda Hospitals, Bangalore. I mean, Hyderabad. Very good. So, Great. Lo a long journey. <laughs> long journey, sir. Yeah, very nice. Okay, Doctor, dream to do a DM superficiality uh, when it started, how it started and you want to accomplish now. Can you tell us something on that? Narayan Hridayala has actually instilled that inspiration in me. Dr. Murali Mohan, uh, he's a national name. He uh, is the one who instilled uh, interest for pulmonology. But the problem was when I passed out, it was the COVID era. And things were not looking good at my personal level during that time. So going for another three year DM was not easy for me. Still, I wrote the DM exam at that time. My rank was 60. But then I thought I'll give it up because mm. uh, pulmonology is like an end speciality. Why should I do DM? Okay. But I remember what Dr. Murali Mohan told me. Uh, it is the constant updation we need in this field. So that thought came back to me. Then I started writing exams of uh, pulmonology available. EDARM, FCCP, everything I cleared. So I have an, another few degrees in pulmonology apart from the post-graduation. Wow. But... Uh, Interest, I wanted to do something else. So critical care is what many anesthesia people are doing now. The branch left for was for DM or interventional pulmonology. So okay. interventional pulmonology, I entered in Yashoda Hospitals, Hyderabad, under Dr. Hari Krishna and Dr. Preeti. Till this point, I was not planning to do DM actually. Again a DM, entrance, I never thought of giving. When I went to that hospital, uh, the amount of cases and the variety which I saw there, it again instilled that inspiration back in me. So actually I prepared, uh, one side I was doing fellowship, side by side I was doing my preparation for DM, which was not easy because Yeshoda Hospitals, Hyderabad is quite, Secunderabad division basically, Dr. Hari Kishan and Dr. Preeti, it's quite busy there. So it was not easy doing fellowship and preparation same time, but somehow I did this sir. very good doctor excellent now can we know what was your preparation strategy how did you prepare what all things you did to achieve this rank yes sir sir basically first thing i i what i did is i installed speed app i did this in february 2024 for a one year thing because that is the same month i joined in yeshoda hospitals the work time in yeshoda was morning 9 to evening 7 so 8, 8 o'clock I'll reach there, 8 to 12 I used to read and morning I'll get up at around uh, 5.30 to 6 o'clock and read till 8, 8 o'clock. This went like that till December. After December my fellowship finished and next to 4 months, 3 to 4 months, 12 hours per day hmm. and last 1 month, 16 hours per day. Wow, <laughs> escalated. <laughs> escalated because I got some more free time. This is the timing, sir. Regarding books, Fishman, sir. Plus speed, videos and questions. A very big thanks and, uh, you know, I am, uh, you know, blown away by the classes of Hariharan, sir. Vidushi, ma'am. Saurabh, sir. <laughs> please, convey my, please convey my regards to them. They don't Vidushi. know me, but uh, I have seen their faces last year throughout in my desktop. <laughs> Yeah, this is a dedicated team actually. Every team is dedicated and they are also very dedicated. 
so we are because we are looking at the final outcome i mean how we could kind of bring in a change in a short span because we know that at this point of time everybody will be working will be preoccupied and they are not fully free so we need to kind of make their time we should preserve their time and we need to help them out in giving in the format of the exam that's very important we can talk 101 things but will that be fitting into the exam is that the bigger question we always yes. ask ourselves great doctor we are very happy for i mean what i was looking at is uh, incremental uh, it was 3 to 4 hours then it become 8 hours then it become 16 hours so it was just moving on and finally on a go right before the exam i do it yes sir perfect how many questions did you attend doctor sir i attended uh, can i add one thing sir yeah please sir this time uh, as you i have, I have seen your video um, which was released one week before the exams where you told about sections section a section b section c sir it was uh, it is actually a disadvantage for a candidate to have that i feel because uh, we don't know what is awaited in each section and we don't know how much to leave in each section i left two questions in each section so i attended 144 out of 150 good number and uh, in which my score is uh, 461 123 correct 121 correct 23 wrong the six i left i am sure i will not make it right i am okay. sure <laughs> <laughs> which means i don't know a uh, two option to rule out that's what i meant sir two options if i know two options okay i have gone for that if yeah. i don't know three options Anything, yeah so i did not know six questions with three options i don't know i left it but i don't know like you can't predict what is coming in next section initially it was all 150 questions because they made an section it is a quite disadvantage is what i felt so 144 was my total number sir yeah score is four, yeah please 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 score is 461 the target score i wanted was 490 490 is the first rank here Okay. my target score was 490 because <laughs> because in speed i was getting uh, 450 plus in exams okay so for, but every time i think 490 is the first rank so i i looked at the first rank as uh, score of last year 490 previous year 492 something like that but uh, this happened and uh, it is 461 19th rank can i tell you a secret yes sir for the for the six questions you are not knowing three options right Yes. you are not knowing three options yes the option that you know is an answer in more than 75% of cases uh, sorry sir three options you are not knowing right yeah the option that is familiar to you of the or the option out of the three one was familiar to you like not familiar sir like it was like i'm not readable. sure that is readable mm. recognizable like numbers sir it was pure numbers okay number you can't do anything yeah. but if there are four options of the four options if you able to recognize one option of the four yeah this is a general rule this is an mcq psychology okay of the four options the option that you know when you mark it it is not 100% right always it is more than 75% of time it's right because that option that you know is what examiner also knows and he plans it and he puts three distractors around it okay there so the framing architecture and the framework and template of uh, mcq works yes. so there are a lot of tricks and techniques yes, also there yes. available yes uh, whenever uh, in a difficult situation yeah. to answer it anyway when I mean, you have gone more than 95% of your attendance been attending the question more than 95% is very good yes. now what will be your advice for the future aspirants of tm technology sir i don't know whether i am a good example to advise Sure. Have... You are the perfect example. I'll tell you why. You <laughs> did, and you did all fellowships and have done everything around it. And then you waited for the right time and the right opportunity, and you worked. You gave hundred percent on that opportunity, and you are the perfect example. I can tell you for the interview I have made in this session. First things, I I won't say advice, sir. I will I will say them. Never late than before. You know, you always have to do. You are never late. Second thing is, uh, from a purely uh, technical point of view. textbook plus speed up more than enough freshers have the benefits sir i would say earlier to do better 
even if you are late like me like four years five years it's fine speed app fishman fishman you have to read as sir i have covered fishman three to four times last 10 days was rapid revision your mind will be brain fogged and uh, everything around you will seem like strange do it again and again and again it becomes mechanical by end of last five days and all but uh, strategy i have seen a, a, again another your video of how to prepare in the last uh, a few days i have seen your video uh, so i followed only one app and i followed one book i did not go to the distraction part whether i will get or not all those things i never went in uh, disciplined prayer and uh, textbook with apps sir this is what i feel and it all depends on your interest also you can practice without that one thing i want to add is there is a shift happening in pulmonology sir nmc ug pulmonology is not there now mm. there is a trend going towards i have taken classes for mbbs students i have take classes for uh, first second year third year final year students now i don't have to postgraduates are now new people who are writing neat pg i think sure you would have communicated they are having less tendency to take uh, post graduation respiratory medicine right they, sir they feel uh, there is a constant fight happening in the respiratory pulmonary field right now for the last 1 to 2 years whether dm has to come up md dnb will be going down mm -hmm. it's going on since 1 to 2 years okay so i feel there is a shift practically there is a shift towards dm that trend is happening and uh, i spoke with some of the friends in who are preparing for neat pg i have friends who are 6 7 years younger to me they told they are not so sure about taking pulmonology as a pg but there is a shift towards dm pulmonary but how do they do dm pulmonology without doing md pulmonology medicine is going to be the base because so they going to even to say they going to take away this md pulmonology course so that they going to tell medicine i'm not saying sir but there is a big talk can, can happen, happen sir okay. can happen sir because now that uh, dtcd diploma of tuberculosis chest diseases hardly people are taking it nowadays earlier many used to people used to take it and they will do a post diploma dnb slowly that trend is because sir, are becoming less that's the reason why they are planning to do so 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 i would say uh, follow your mind and uh, just be in touch with the reality also that's Great. what i would like to say sir. now time to thank and whom all you want to thank they have helped you uh, have supported you first of all my parents sir thanks for their blessings my wife uh, uh, and my son because they supported me when i was away from them i did in hyderabad they were in kerala they were the backbone of that and my sister my teachers at narayan hridayalaya my teachers at uh, eshoda hospital secunderabad you sir and for making this app <laughs> okay because okay. Uh, when i was why i said this is when i was working as a consultant i wanted to make an app for pulmonology okay. okay when i went through the process of making an app i was like oh god this much here to do <laughs> you, okay. you 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 need a server or this this memory you need to constantly the technical things behind making an app i went through and i was like oh god this is big headache it's not as easy as it seems so for making an app and giving such a wonderful team with panel of uh, pulmonologists uh, i thank the speed team it will be never uh, enough how much i thank the team because i followed completely speed app and the textbook there are few friends who supported me telling don't worry go forward it's okay you are on the right track because most of them will tell why you need to take dm you have already done all these things no and thank god i have a very good i had a very good practice in calicut in two hospitals so why you want to do all these things but there are few very good friends who told follow follow what you want to do this is how the trend is now follow your passion the huge uh, number of people uh, i can't thank everyone now but uh, i would like to say thanks to all these people great doctor and uh, you are a role model you are a typical role model and uh, you you had a lot of steps to follow and to go on and to accomplish and uh, it was a great pleasure and a great honor to interact with you in the first interview today in the morning i'm very very and very fresh and happy <laughs> and uh, to wish you all the very best and all the success i mean you have achieved already what you wanted and you have just added one more uh, cap on to it 
and uh, with a with a degree the name degree and anyway you are already into it and uh, anyway uh, it will be a completion and 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 the completion has come in a very big way and i i wish you all the very best and all the success for a great career ahead and a great practice and a career all that you going to accomplish best wishes to you thank you sir when i took the speed app just want to add one thing i never thought i will have an interview with you <laughs> so thanks for that uh, thanks my almighty for letting this happens thank you sir great thank you thank you